What's good, family? It's your guy Frankie back at you again for another tutorial where I show you how to cartoon yourself and others. Plus, I also take you behind the scenes for our educational cartoon series where we gather fun facts today about Colin Kaepernick. Now, many know Colin Kaepernick from his days with the San Francisco 49ers and then, of course, protests during games when the national anthem is being sung. And today we are going to bring Colin Kaepernick from the real world into the cartoon world. Of course, before I get going, if you are interested in seeing more videos where we show you how to cartoon in a digital art application on YouTube, you can search hashtag Fresberg Creates where you have the option to click the subscribe button along with the bell icon on our videos, which will send you notifications when we release new videos like this. Now, first, what you're seeing here is I am working in Clip Studio Paint today. Normally, I like to go back and forth between Adobe Illustrator and Clip Studio Paint. But today I'm trying to keep this simple because it's more of a let's get this done type of job. So I'm not actually sketching out anything today. I am grabbing a picture of Colin I found online as my reference. I'm going to bring that picture to the cartoon world. So like you're seeing here, as I'm importing a picture into Clip Studio Paint, I'm doing that on my second layer. I will start with a white base layer to begin for my line artwork and then for my second layer bring in once again this photo dropping down the opacity to use that as a guide to trace to so by having that white background it gets rid of that transparency background it once again it's just better to have a white background and then your photo on top and you can drop it down anywhere from 80 percent to 50 percent wherever you can see or wherever your vision kind of works out for you so I've dropped the opacity on the Colin Kaepernick photo and locked that layer. And then for my third layer, I'm adding my line art layer. This is where I'll begin my inking for the black line art and then pull together my Colin Kaepernick cartoon. So in recap, your bottom layer will be just a white background. Your second layer will be your photo where you'll use that to sketch by dropping the opacity so that it makes it easier to trace on top of. Then your top layer will be where you can find a brush that works best for you to begin your line work. As a side note, line work can be done with a mouse or a drawing tablet. Um, you can find a drawing tablet, you know, pretty inexpensive on Amazon or other sites helping you set your pen pressure which literally is like drawing with a real pencil, but digitally and some tablets have screens where you can draw on top of the screen. Um, almost think of it like imagine drawing on your monitor screen or like any like tablet, etc. You can use that pen and pen pressure there. And don't get me wrong. Um, I know a lot of people use like their iPads and, and you know, Samsung tablets. But when it comes to a digital art tablet day and night because of those pen pressure settings, thousands of settings that you can use. And once again, you can buy something separate without that monitor displaying on it or an all inclusive where once again, you're able to see, of course, what you're doing there. Now, what you're seeing me do right now is I'm just getting down to the basics, just with hand eye coordination and my handy dandy computer mouse the brush that I have selected allows me to adjust stabilization meaning even if I'm off a little bit it corrects my path or kind of predicts where I'm going with my drawing so it corrects my line work so it isn't all over the place but the computer with that self correction that's really cool if you're just starting out with a mouse maybe you don't have the, the funds to do the whole tablet thing and it still gives you a clean line so here with my brush, I'm tracing over the photo reference I previously imported in on layer two. So once again, my top layer is my inking layer. Not trying to get every detail in my inking, but the main structure of his face because I will use coloring and shading later to bring out his facial features, including shading and, and highlights, all that. So that is the foundation of getting our 
artwork going. It's like when we go to fun fact videos, everybody has a date of birth or at least a time frame around when they were approximately born. So we start there with our art and starting out with Colin Kaepernick, he was actually born on November 3rd in 1987. That's a good way to kick off a fun fact video. I always joke that people born in November are like Valentine's Day babies, you know, give us that nine months and whoop, here comes the baby. So maybe Colin was a Valentine's Day baby. We just don't know that. Um, an interesting fact also about Colin Kaepernick is he was actually adopted by his parents. Colin Kaepernick has never met his birth mother, which is really interesting to me. Of course, when we let our audience know what our subject's date of birth and birth location and where that is, we begin to build from that foundational fact and go from there. That is what you will see with me doing my cartoon processing. A lot of the principles that I use can be mirrored in other applications. For example, when I'm going and doing my line art and creating facial features, I always close off specific lines and basically what that does is that sets up my coloring a little bit later um, kind of think about it like back in the day when you were in maybe kindergarten or even before that and you had to learn how to color like you're seeing for example if we draw an eye I want to close off all the lines, not making sure or, or making sure that there are no gaps in between the lines on the eye so that when I use my fill tool, basically, or a brush, when I select that area to color it, it won't go outside the line. So creating those lines, there are really cool tools digitally that you can use to select a specific area and only color that area, but closing off the lines where you don't want colors to bleed is, is the best way to do things. Now, uh, well, like the pupil on the eye. If you want the pupil to be separate, you draw a line basically highlighting the area of the pupil. And then, of course, all the surroundings of the eye whites. That way you can drop in the pupil color by highlighting with like a lasso tool and then coloring in that area with a brush or fill tool. And then you can click and highlight the whites of the eye and brush in there. So you literally get both sections really quickly and you get in those specific sections because by creating that line work, it blocks or provides boundaries for your artwork when you deal with the coloring. Basically, like I said, going back to the old school days, stay inside the lines, kid, stay inside the lines. So from there, once I get everything all set up with my line art, I'll cut off that reference that I use. So the actual photo I brought in and the fill layer at the bottom. And that's when I basically start adding my color because that bottom layer that I use, the white layer, I don't need that anymore. The photo, I don't need that anymore. And then I'll add a new layer below my line art in order to begin coloring that and then basically build up from there everything in the middle so keep it things simple I'll have my top line art and then I'll have my base color so two layers there and then from there I add layers in between to deal with my shading now going back and forth between facts about Colin Kaepernick and the art with Colin he knew that he wanted to be a football player at an early age for example, when reading up on his biography, when he was just a young kid, he wrote a letter about wanting to play professionally in the NFL and even mentioned wanting to go to the San Francisco 49ers or the Green Bay Packers. Another thing I like about Collins biography is although he ended up being a sports figure in his school, he did not forget about his grades. Like when looking at Colin's biography in school, yes, he played football. Yes, he played baseball and basketball. But even though he was a multi-sport student athlete, Colin was still able to maintain a 4.0 GPA. Now, that's legit, keeping school as a priority. That kind of plays into my art as well, keeping balance. Because basically, after I finish my base layer with the color, I add all of the additional layers in between, like I said before, for shading and highlights. 
Now with shading, I typically don't use a, a hard brush, but one of my spray paint brushes in Clip Studio Paint. This allows me to add color without the colors being too hard and it makes things a little bit easier for blending. Now, as I mentioned before, I am using my mouse, but things would be a lot easier if I had hooked up my drawing tablet. But what I do as a supplement when I'm drawing is, although it doesn't follow the pen pressure like my mouse, or my mouse doesn't follow the pen pressure like it would with a drawing tablet, what I end up doing is using the eraser tool to kind of shape those areas with a very soft edge on that. So I kind of build off of two soft tools, a soft spray paint brush and then a soft eraser brush to fill in those areas that I need. Now, yes, it's a little extra work, but in the end, it gets me what I need. Now, basically heading out toward the end, one thing I did want to focus on getting more into the detail is many know Colin Kaepernick from his exhibition of freedom of speech. During a televised football game, that's where Colin was caught in a preseason game sitting during the national anthem. And that adds real detail to his story and where he is today because many other athletes followed Colin protesting what they felt weren't right things or the issues that weren't right in the country by kneeling during the national anthem. And that's kind of where we are today. But you can always find more on the video or on Colin over on our cartoon channel, Fresberg Cartoon. Right now, I am done, folks, with this tutorial. Like you can see here, I, I hope you like the artwork and I hope you enjoy it. And if so, feel free to find us on YouTube by searching hashtag Fresberg Creates, where there you can subscribe and stay with us each week. Hey, I got to go, but I'll see you next time. A man who is known for lighting up the football field in the Golden State and also standing up by kneeling down? Stay tuned for more as we share our top 10 interesting facts about Colin Kaepernick. And for more fun fact videos like this, join us on YouTube, where by clicking the subscribe button and notification bell, you will receive instant alerts when we release new videos like this. Colin Kaepernick is known in history as an American football star and social activist born in Milwaukee, Wisconsin on November 3rd in 1987. Starting off with fact number one, Kaepernick was adopted as a baby. That's right, when he was just five weeks old, he was adopted by Rick and Teresa Kaepernick and he has never met his birth mother. With my next fact, it is all about Colin knowing what he wanted to be when he grew up. That is where in the fourth grade, Colin wrote a letter dreaming about how he wanted to go pro and play for the Niners or the Packers. Looking at fact number three, Although many people know him for playing football, in high school, he was an all-around athlete. Colin played football, baseball, and basketball while still being an amazing student, earning a 4.0 GPA. Speaking of baseball with fact number four, Colin could have gone in a different direction for sports. That is because in the 2009 Major League Baseball Draft, the Chicago Cubs drafted him in the 43rd round but Colin chose to remain in college and continue playing football. Another interesting fact about Colin is he graduated from the University of Nevada, Reno. That is where in 2010, he earned his bachelor's degree in business management. With fact number six, it is all about the San Francisco 49ers and playing football. That is where in 2011, he was drafted to the San Francisco 49ers and debuted in his first game against the Philadelphia Eagles on October 2nd. With fact number seven, if you like turtles, you are like Colin Kaepernick. That is where Colin Kaepernick owns a very large pet tortoise by the name of Sammy. With fact number eight, it is all about his faith. Colin Kaepernick is a very religious person and even has tattoos on his upper body that include Bible verses and other religious images. With fact number nine, it is all about becoming a major star and landing a huge contract. That is where Colin did so well in the NFL that he signed a $126 million contract with the San Francisco 49ers. With our final fact, Colin Kaepernick gained national attention on August 26th in 2016. That is where during a preseason game, he was photographed not standing during the national anthem. 
This later turned into many players in the league and other sports kneeling to voice their frustration with problems in the United States.